Good morning, Stephanie Cameraman, the Stock Whisperer, back from New York City. Had a fantastic time at the New York Traders Expo. I got some pictures for you guys. This is our booth. We were the bag sponsors. And here is our traders wearing our t-shirts. We had a fantastic dinner at Carmine's. And I did three presentations. This is my last presentation. You can see it was packed. We had standing room only. Actually, this woman had to sit on the floor. So next time, I think we need a couple extra chairs. There's my interview with Matt McCall. We were talking on where the market was headed. I did a stage presentation about high probability trades in the dark pool. And there is a, oh, Dr. Gupta came. And there's the three musketeers, Neil, Matthew, and I. And our traders from Sunnyvale, California. There's Mike, New York City, Peggy, Bob, Neil, Brandon, Viking John was there. Mark Chaikin was in the house. Also, there was Simon and California Cowboy was giving me some stock tips before the Traders Challenge. Corey and I did some live trading. Fantastic job, Corey. There's Vernon and Pinky and Pinky and Ben. We did a, a master four hour live trading class, trading around the dark pool. And I'm looking forward to doing that again soon. Had a great dinner at The View. And there's my traders waving hello and goodbye. And I can't wait to go there next year. All right, so I'm so excited to be back to trading. And I'm sure you guys are wondering what is the whisper. But before I get to that, I got to tell you that trader of the day yesterday killed it cameron aka the magnificent was rocking it all day yesterday morgan stanley calls 220 percent roi tlt puts nue iwm csx wells fargo johnson and johnson ibm microsoft i think i missed a couple but cameron you were hot and it was your birthday so happy birthday and congratulations all right so what are we watching today well have my eye on a couple things First thing is GDX. Yeah, gold has been bearish. We had uh, quite a few prints on it yesterday, but the level I'm watching today is $22.56, which we tested this morning. That was a, a pretty big print level yesterday. So $22.50. If we break below that, there's a lot of room to go on the downside. Also, I got to tell you first that we had the biggest dark pool print level since 2015 yesterday. This is huge. We had 39 million late dark pool buy prints on the SPY at 236.55. And that was actually an older print from last week. We had, I think, like 11 million there as well. So this is massive, 236. 55 we're going to be using this level i'm going to draw a line right here bullish above bearish below no thinking if we close below this level on the future i will turn bearish but as long as they're underneath us i'm going to remain bullish on this market all right so what else are we watching today well eem yeah definitely watching this one we had some massive prints yesterday uh starting from 38.40 to 38 51. I've drawn those lines there and I'm going to be bearish as long as it stays above 3840. But if she can close above 3851, then I'll turn bullish once again. All right. So JD had earnings. And if you're in the Java pit this morning, we spotted sell prints at 33 and 3250. So these are key, key levels to watch bullish above 33, bearish below. 32.50. Also, KR. Susie asked me to look up the prints, and thank you, Susie. I think Ken called it out first. But yeah, Susie, we, we uncovered uh, old prints from back in October at $31.25. And you can see that they're sitting there on the offer here on my ECN book, loaded to sell. Same exact level, also 31.20. So we're going to be bearish as long as KR stays below. 3125. So come watch me trade these stocks and so many more 
all day long at the Job Fit Trading at www.thestockwhisper.com. Happy trading, everybody.